148th of final Bryce Williams. I want to shake your hand, but I'm afraid to do so. Am All I going right. to get third degree burns right here? Uh, no, Eight it. threes tonight, Bryce. Congratulations. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, we just shared the ball really well. I mean, uh, they ran a zone. We kept going to the high post. One more, one more, three. And uh, I think we shared the ball really well. So if I'm not mistaken, they tied the record for assists, correct? So in the history of trying basketball, you guys had 29 assists wow, in this 29. game. Wow. That ties the school record, Bryce. Yeah, man, I see uh, Aiden had eight. Jeez. You know, he, I mean, he, he didn't, he only had two points, but, you know, he had eight assists. I mean, that equals, you know, if, it, if they're all threes, that's 24. And if they're, you know, so. You had a series in the first half where yeah. you scored four consecutive threes without the other team even scoring. Oh, really? I mean, I've seen I've seen Jake Daniels get hot yeah. like that. I, I've seen some of the greats since I've been at try and get hot like that. Yeah. Take me into your mindset when you're that kind of hot in the first half. It was all really a blur. I mean, I, I don't even remember like the situation. <laughs> you said four straight threes without scoring. I don't even remember that. I mean, I mean, the, my teammates kept giving me the ball. I mean, I remember coming down there saying just feed him, feed him, feed him. And uh, that gives me so much confidence. And, you know, one of my favorite players is Clay Thompson, you know, so I was, I was watching a little bit of his uh, highlights for the game and, uh, and not it, a bad one to emulate. Yeah, huh? yeah. You know, plays. their top scorer is Eddie Thigpen. He yeah. comes into this game averaging 17 points a night and Bryce, he finishes with just three tonight. He yeah. was really frustrated. Mm -hmm. Your defense was just relentless all night long. Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. It looked like he was battling some kind of hand injury, um, but we did a great job. I mean, we. We knew he's a lefty. He likes that left hand, and we all week we said put, push the push the ball screen right, push him to his right. You know, keep him out of the middle. You know, we do the same things every game. Keep him out. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> or Zach could give him Bryce a little yeah, love. He, he, he assisted on most of them, I think. But uh, what do you think of Aiden's beard, by the way? Yeah, he. Uh, last year we kind of started. I started growing a little goats. He actually just <laughs> shaved today, but yeah, it's. It's pretty gross, honestly. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't gonna say it. I just <laughs> throw it gross. over to you. Uh, if his girlfriend likes it, uh, I mean, it's fair. All that matters. So. That's fair. <laughs> you know, uh, this one tonight is so big to get. And remember, this was a seven-point game the first time we played Alabama. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a battle. You, you guys got some games coming up next week against Al or uh, uh, Albion coming up on Wednesday. Yeah. I know that's gonna be another fun one on the road. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get everybody's best shot. Yeah. I mean, second time through the conference. I mean, all, all those teams are gonna give them the best shot after like. After you saw them first time, they're yeah. really going to come after it, especially at Albion. The ne next game's at Albion? Correct. Yeah, yep. I mean, uh, going to their floor is always tough. Playing there is always tough. And uh, I honestly can't wait. I can't wait for Monday, Tuesday to prepare for it and uh, just, just battle them. You guys, without one of your key soldiers tonight, yeah. and Brent Cox not able to go, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you look at what Mitchell's able to do. Uh, obviously, Manny, a double-double or almost a double-double for him. And. Uh, you know, the front court, there's depth there, even if one oh, yeah. guy's down. Yeah, I mean, we, we interchange the front court. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a part of that. We kind of interchange with the substitution and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, everybody contributes in different ways, you know. Brent a little more on the outside. And uh, uh, Ma uh, Manuel, or Big E, we call him Big E, uh, is blocking shots. And then Mitch just being that physical presence. I mean, they're flying around, playing defense. They can guard. You know, our bigs can guard anybody. I mean, we, that's why we switch so much. I mean, we got we got Mitch can guard the perimeter just as good as any any guard or anything like that. So it makes it really easier on us to switch these ball screens, switch these screens, and it makes it really easy. So both uh, Mitch and Hayden had slams tonight. Now, they're not dunking it like Bowman yeah. or McNangle, yeah. but they both threw it down. You give them credit, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, Aiden, I mean, Hayden... Hayden that came out of, I, that came out of nowhere. I mean, I've seen him dunk, but right. I didn't know I was coming. Hey, maybe next game I might have to throw one down. You never know. I'll tell you what, brother. <laughs> eight threes tonight. You had this place going absolutely insane. Yeah, great Congratulations on a great night. Yeah, appreciate the support. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, great you. job, thank man. Thank you for what you do for our program. I mean, that guy right there had this place up for grabs, coach. Eight triples for Bryce tonight. You'll love to see it. Yeah, I tell you what, so does my 94-year-old grandmother who texts me or sends me an email after every game. You're going to kill me with these close games. So, uh, no, it was nice. It was a great effort. And I, th I think what epitomizes where we're at right now with our team was he, si he hit six in a row. And he had a shot fake in the first half. He got himself a wide open three, another one to make seven. And he passed it up and gave Nick the ball in the corner. Um, you're just excited about where we're going. I, you know, it's, uh, it's just another step in our journey of trying to get to where we need to be. And I think uh, we took a real positive step here. Um, it's unfortunate that they didn't have their entire team here today. Um, I feel bad for those guys. Uh, but in the end, in this, in this day and age, 
you, you know, you, we gotta, you still got to come out and compete. I've been on the other end of those when teams didn't have all their guys either. So I was just happy the way our guys came out and competed, competed regardless of, of uh, who was over there in their, uh, in their uniforms. And, uh, you, you know, we're starting to understand that it's not about the opponent as much as it's about the game and how we play the game and, mm -hmm. and the things that we would like to dictate when we play. And, and the togetherness it takes in order to do that. Um, so I was just proud of it. Uh, it. It was really good couple days of practice and those those things are improving but our enthusiasm our energy our joy uh, for being together mm -hmm. is uh, is really at an all-time high and, and we got another great challenge coming up on Wednesday and and Monday will be another uh, another step in the you know another step in the process 29 assists ties the school record I mean uh, you were finding open guys tonight such an unselfish brand of basketball yeah, you know, you get assists when guys make shots. Right. You know, I don't think it's been unselfish at all this year. Our assist, assist numbers have been down because we just haven't put the ball in the basket as well. Um, and, I, and I think that, uh, you know, those things will continue to get better once we find the right combinations. Um, you know, Connor getting back in the lineup for us and battling through some adversity and, and really understanding what he needs to do to help us win is a huge spark. But he's got to continue to do that. Not just Connor, the rest of all of us. You know, right. we all have a role in what we have to do to, to create some success here moving forward. And I think that uh, it's becoming clearer and clearer and more urgent. Um, Sam Hargraves is a guy that I knew from Hillsdale College for many years. Yes. Obviously, he coached you uh, with Ed Dalma, and then you coached with him over there as well. Yeah. The brotherhood with you coaches in this conference, you all know each other really well, and especially Sam. Uh, that's got to be uh, kind of fun to match up with him. Well, I would say it's the opposite. Really? I, I don't enjoy competing against people that you care so much sure. about. Um, I know how he feels right now, or I can imagine how he feels. Um, and, and our program wouldn't be what it is without Sam Hargraves, mm -hmm. Bill Saul. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that uh, the impact they've had on my life and my pedigree of basketball, being a part of Coach Dalma's tree, has been really, really special. So when we compete against each other, and we have since we've both entered the league at the same time, it's always kind of bittersweet. Um, and, and I will tell you, you know, the way he motivated and changed our program with the success he had at Elma, I, we took it to a whole new level, I think, since then because he helped show a lot of people in this league what it takes to win um, when you're not Hope or Calvin. Mm -hmm. And I've always been proud to be associated with Sam and Coach Saul, obviously. Uh, but, uh, but he's got a lot of heartache over there. He's dealing with some unfair adversity. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that... Uh, um, you know, I've just always valued what he's brought to me, and, and uh, you know, he's just been a big part of our life. Well put, Coach. Congratulations. Good luck against Albion on Wednesday. Thank you. Appreciate you. Coach Brooks Miller, great effort tonight. They get it done. 100 to 48, the final. I turn it over to my broadcast partner, Drew Everhart. Just a complete effort tonight. The made shots, the assists, the defensive intensity, everything you look for, try and put it on the floor tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, we got, when you score 100 points, you got to have that, especially especially when you allow 48. Just a great game overall. That's a really good Olivet team that they lost by 7 to only a couple weeks ago. So definitely looking up for trying. They definitely know what they need to do as they're coming towards the end of the season. Enjoyed watching this one, especially watching Bryce just go crazy. Uh, coach said he had six straight threes for the team at one point. Uh, you know, 24 points on eight made threes. And uh, it, it was an exciting game because you got to see so many of the kids play and contribute and play well off the back end of that bench, whether it's a Grant Paul, uh, Griffin Lorimer, uh, Preston off the bench as well. Carball got a lot of minutes. Those guys play extremely hard at practice, and you love to see them get a chance. Yeah, especially when you're coming into – conference play you need to have your whole bench ready as obviously they were and just you need contributions from everyone and man that was just they look really good today great working with drew everhart as always uh, thank you very much drew josh hornbacher great job as well amelia mills on the camera tonight uh, we're going to take tomorrow off and then Monday, we've got women's basketball trying against Kalamazoo right here at the MTI. Can't wait. And then again, a uh, women's game on Wednesday as uh, Albion comes to town. That's always a fun one. We'll have those for you right here on the Trine Broadcasting Network. Great job to uh, Drew Everhart. Thanks to uh, our friend Nick Bowman, or excuse me, Bryce Williams for joining us after the game, along with Coach Brooks Miller. Hope you have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you Monday night here at the MTI Center on the Trine Broadcasting Network.